In this video, we'll demonstrate how to write out well-structured YAML from a VSTS build task using the YAML writer build task. So we'll just start off with an empty process here uh, in a VSTS build. We'll add a new task and search for YAML. It'll show up uh, in the marketplace. And if you haven't already installed into this tenant, you'll have to go along and follow the installation instructions there. This already has been installed into this tenant. so. We're able to just select YAML writer. Supports both existing files as well as new files. So in this case, we'll open up an existing file. Um, you can see here what is in that file. And what we want to do is just update the build number to be the current actual build number. Um, it'll add parameters if they don't exist. You can nest the parameters like such, so build.number. Um, and we can pass in build variables as well. And here I'm adding also a parameter that doesn't exist. Um, I'm going to add another YAML writer to write out a new file. So this time um, we'll write out a file that uh, doesn't exist. So here we'll see, we'll create some other file.yaml and we can just start populating this with any parameters we like. So either way you can update an existing file, it will overwrite variables if they exist or add them, or you can create files entirely from scratch. And the output only parameter here means that it will just write into the debugger or into the output um, the YAML without actually updating the file. Uh, we'll add now some published build artifact steps to save those files so we can investigate them. So we'll just select the file uh, that we want to add here, give it an artifact name and publish it into the VSTS built-in publication location. And we'll also add another artifact publish step um, for the other file. And um, I just skipped over the, the steps there, but basically we're just writing out the some other file.yaml uh, so we can have a look in that one as well. So let's run the job. The idea with this uh, task is that you're able to uh, you're able to write configurations such as to Helm charts or to other YAML-based um, file formats and save them as part of a deployment artifact. So it makes it much easier than doing, say, string replace or template replacing. And here we can see the output. First step is you note that the file exists. So that's, out, that's indicated there. Uh, and you can see that the build number has been updated with the actual build number from the build task. The second file here did not exist. And you can see the output there as well. And that's also been saved out uh, to, the, to the build directory ready for saving to artifacts. So I'm just going to download those artifacts now. Um, and I've extracted them on the local file system. First, we'll have a look at the sample. And you can see that uh, it's been updated with the build number and it's also had the something dot another field added. And in the original, uh, sorry, in the new file, it's had another value set to something. And so if you want to install this tool, go along to the Visual Studio Marketplace and search for YAML Writer and click get it free to install it in your VSTS tenant.